In this video, I am doing a metal detecting. I, uh, a couple days ago, I had to go to, I had to go do something. And I didn't really want to do it. It's, I had to go to uh, some medical appointment. But I stopped off at where I grew up, one of the places I grew up, uh, North Monmouth Beach. And detected there and not for a long time my leg was kind of killing me so I uh, was, you know just around very clean very nice uh, the uh, the person who cleans it's he, he does what he does a, an outstanding job but this video is also about testing out my new face mask actually testing it out it's, it's awesome I am on a lake I, uh, it's the, uh, Matt McGrath Pond. There we go. In Waterville, Belgrade, Oakland area, Waterville. It is, it's, I'm at, it's McGrath Park I'm actually at. The actual beach is next to me, but there's, there's boats there. I don't want to deal with, a, deal with, uh, you know, mess with their time, outdoor time. So I picked a different spot. Uh, this place was once a, uh, it was a RV park, RV park, or camp, a campsite. In the 90s, it shut down. Uh, Waterville Gary actually found some decent stuff here a while back. It's kind of a, I've seen, I've seen a couple different detectors here. But, so I'm out in the water testing this mask out. It is, it's fun, it's a lot of fun with the Blue 3 Nemo. Of course, I love the, I love my baby, it's my baby. So first find of the day is this waiter. I have my uh, Bates Ultralights. I'm gonna rent, they have my Bates on, I love my Bates boots. I, uh, I have to wear them, because my ankles, I couldn't do this without them, because my ankle, it provides ankle support. Anyway, old waiter, and uh, just found in the shallow area. I'm just kind of messing around. What I have found out about this mask, so far, I have zero complaints about this mask. It works well. It, uh, full face, obviously. No, it's not full face, but you know what I mean. Uh, well, actually, yes, it would be a full face mask. Anyway, it is, uh, it's just awesome. It's great for the Blue 3 Nemo. You can take the, uh, the mask off fairly easily, but this mask is completely worth what it costs. Love it. Anyway. So something I just noticed, especially with the mask, with the, with the, the mask, because it's, you don't really notice it, like it's not, your face is covered, everything's covered, you're focused on, on what's in the water, is that this, this cord can get wrapped around your neck. It got wrapped around my neck. I mean, it wasn't a big deal, but I normally that's something I would, would have noticed. And uh, with the, with, with just a snorkeling mask on, but, it, uh, yeah, it's interesting. I was like, oh my God. And, uh, fixed it, whatever. I'm gonna stop talking now. I forgot, or I couldn't find the, uh, the, uh, GoPro waterproof case that I have. I mean, the GoPro itself is waterproof, but it, uh, I don't, I couldn't find the case for it, the underwater case. So I couldn't get any underwater footage. So this is just a nail. It's just a nail found on the water. It's found it. It's awesome. Another another nail find. It looks similar, like another the same nail that I just got. But it is not. It uh, it is a separate nail. It is a separate nail. And so I'm looking at boats that go by. So this was not the same spot that I was in, or I started off in. Uh, the spot was really good, small area, like there was a small area, not, kind of rocky, little, but then it got rocky on each side, like too rocky. This area is, you can kind of see, trying to see if I can zoom out, is it's a good, I can sit and then go in and then come back and then talk about what I found. So this is the first penny of the day that I found. It's getting dark. That's not cool. So it's a penny. I can't really see the year on it. 
but it's definitely a penny. Yeah, it's getting cold. So this is a penny for another penny from 1960. Uh, just you can't really see, but it has a good. Yeah, you can see, kind of see the the uh, coating on color on. I like the color. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm getting out of the water. Uh, I'm packing up. You can see the the water is getting kind of vicious, and the weather is probably turning bad right now. So pack it up and get out. So my find for the day. An old fishing weight, which is awesome, and uh, two pennies and and two uh, two nails. There we go. Now the water starts to calm down. I see, uh, it's re re it's relatively shallow in this area, and because uh, they flooded it, this was once like all farm field. I don't know about this area, but it was like the they pretty much made three lakes into one lake and uh or three ponds into one lake and it's it's fairly shallow in this area so when the boats go by like it makes the waves man it makes it crazy waves anyway i'm out if i were to pick something that i didn't like about the mask i love the mask I love but if i were to pick something i didn't like it was the fact and it's more personal preference and me getting used to the mask is the is the the fact that you're attached to the mask or the mask is your yeah you're attached to the mask and the mat the mask is attached to the blue three nemo and you can't take it on and off i mean you can but you can't like the like the the snorkeling mask like the just the, the half mask the face mask whatever you can take it off and still have the blue three nemo the respirator part of it you know you take out the the breathing apparatus for the the blue uh blue three nemo and you still have the mask on either or it's still an amazing mask it's uh i love it i, I do love it so not the first find of the day I've been finding mostly uh, nails, old nails, which is good, get them out of the way. And uh, it's a penny from the 70s. I'm at, this is Wilson Pond in North Monmouth. So this is North Monmouth Beach. Um, so the issue I'm having is, I have a lot of nails, obviously, but all the good signals are like deep. And I didn't bring a, I didn't bring a shovel because shovels would attract attention. And... So yeah, another penny. More modern day. I'm gonna guess that there's gonna be more coins in this area. These people stack their stuff up here. Seems like a safe spot. You can probably, even though no one's really paying attention. So we'll see. Oh, 83, a good year. Another penny. A couple feet away from where I found the last one. Just found this. This step is fine. Not metal, obviously, but oh, that's. I'd be mad. I'd be very mad if I lost that as a kid. It's a G.I. Joe. Or that's a, uh, I'll just cut that out. So it was like a lifeguard shack to keep your stuff in. Like it is, it is a lifeguard shack. It's locked right now. Uh, it's town property, so. That's cool. Anyway, I don't know why I felt like the need to say that. Any, anyway, I am going to leave these pennies here for the penny pushers and the the, uh, the little army guy. I'm going to leave the army guy here for whoever left him behind. Anyway, it's a hard loss right there. But that's pretty cool. I thought it was. At least I do.